Mais pour tout londonien, pour tout britannique, Battersea, c'est vraiment un endroit emblématique. C'est l'icône du sud de Londres. Depuis 30 ans, cet énorme bâtiment a été des souhaits. Maintenant, nous avons un vrai projet pour totalement refaire ce quartier avec ce bâtiment monument emblématique au centre. C'est un énorme projet. C'est tout un quartier de Londres qui se crée de nouveau à deux pas de Chelsea. Battersea Power Station is a powerful expression of the strong and enduring relationship between Malaysia and the United Kingdom. And now, with the launch of the exciting commercial and residential opportunities at Battersea Power Station, we are looking for new partners, new players to join and share the prosperity which will inevitably come. Battersea Power Station has been derelict for 30 years. What we're going to do is put the heart and soul back into that building. And this is the vision of what that scheme will look like ultimately. So it's a luxury residential development, but it's a mixed-use scheme. Battersea Power Station is about 42 acres of the whole Nine Elms area. And many of you will recognise its placement on the river. So whether it be next to Battersea Park, whether it be the Shard, the new building in the City of London, or whether it be the new tube station that comes in in 2019, all these icons surrounding Battersea Power Station are known to many people. It's an iconic building, um, it's a global icon, it's been used all around the world, whether it be on Pink Floyd album covers, um, or whether it's the scene of the Batman's latest movie. For 30 years, Battersea has tried to get its heart and soul back into the building. There's been many people that have uh, tried and failed. Um, I'm delighted to say, with the support of our um, extremely generous um, shareholders, Battersea Power Station is happening. Thank you very much, Jennifer.